Okay, so there was just an update for Modern Warfare Remastered, and we're gonna test something out real quick, because I seen something on Twitter last night that was just Jesus. If you guys don't follow FaZe Dirty on Twitter, he had a tweet, and you can't even get a triple collab with a sniper rifle on three goddamn watermelons on this game. So, you know, benefit of the doubt, let's just see if they, you know, fixed said watermelon collab problem. Dude, I remember when uh, Zer Grizz, he was tweeting at Raven Software asking about, like, sniper collats and the M16 and all kinds of problems with the game, and they straight up told Grizz that collaterals are working as, like, they wanted it to work. And apparently Raven feels that you should not be able to shoot through three watermelons with a sniper rifle on Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Let's test it out, boys. There was a game update today. We got to line up three fatties. Okay, would, would we agree that it's going to hit all three of these? Three, two, one. And you cannot shoot three watermelons. That's terrible. So we see there's one there, one there, one there. Let's go. Let's uh, get them all lined up. And boom. You can't triple watermelon still. That's unbelievable. Maybe maybe the third try is a charm. Here we go. Three, two, one. You can shoot two watermelons. So I mean, maybe they maybe they changed something. But if you guys didn't see Dirty's tweet last night, that's where I kind of got that idea. I was hoping maybe in the update they would change something because there's been so many people tweeting at them complaining about the collats because that's like a big part of the game, you know? Like you don't realize how like sick collaterals are and how fun they are until like you can rarely get them anymore. I think on this game, let me check. I, I only have two collaterals on this game. Efficiency, kill multiple enemies with one bullet. And I have one day and 11 hours played on this game and I have hit two collaterals, dude. I mean, granted, I don't play that much like like respawn i usually play like cage match or search and destroy you know what i'm saying about to 1v1 this dude on shipment boys you guys ready i'm here bitch oh you're dead bitch you're dead bitch <laughs> i'm so sorry but on another note i finally hit a goddamn trick shot on this game last night which oh my just thank you. I was just chilling watching the Counter-Strike tournament in Oakland. I think it was called like IEM or something like that. FaZe was playing. I think they got like third or fourth. And I was just chilling and watching that and just playing some cage match as I was playing. And dude, I had a shot. I did end up landing a little bit on the shot, but I'm still happy with it because that's just momentum. You know what I'm saying? All I think about is like this game is like a new bicycle and I just got to learn how to ride the new bicycle. You know what I'm saying? So once I hit one shot, I figure out the timing and stuff like that. Well, I already know how to time trick shots. I'm just trying to make excuses to make me not sound horrible for not hitting a shot for a day play. But I'm just hoping that now that I got my first shot out of the way, like a Bunch more just come easy and I can start hitting clips and just start killing it on this game because that's you know kind of what I want to do everyone wants to hit shots and stuff everybody wants to do well on a game they play the ever-living shit out of you know what I'm saying but I'm gonna stop talking and let you guys see the shot now oh my god you gotta be kidding me I landed on the thing bro <gasps> Here's my first trick shot. Yep. And I landed on the fucking, I landed on the garbage can. Little zoom load inspecting. And I landed in a cage match, dude. The most clueless person I've ever played in my entire life in Call of Duty. And Damn it, man. I mean, I'm kind of happy, but at the same time, I'm really not happy because it could have been a lot better. Oh, you know what? That's just the start of some momentum, dog. That's all that is. There's a little bit of momentum and we're fine now. It would have been a lot better if I, I tried to like jump out a little bit more. And honestly, I wasn't expecting to hit a shot. I was just kind of messing around while watching a live stream. So, but if I would have jumped out like a little bit more and like drop back like behind the dumpster, I think it would have actually looked a lot better. But just the fact that I like landed on the dumpster right when I shot, it made it kind of look ugly, but I'm still happy with it at the same time because the zoom load looked pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to go for that shot again, like the zoom load mid air and nothing else and just try to hit it like better and like more dissonant and stuff. But I'm telling you guys, if you guys get frustrated, and like search and destroy or free for all like going for trick shots and stuff to try out cage match I'm telling you it's so much more like peaceful and relaxing The motherfucker thought he was gonna come back and win by camping a corner with an AK-74U Dude when you know it when you see a dude's gamer tag is ponage 101 you know you're about to get your ass kicked man Dude some of the worst things about cage match though is you literally find the biggest campers in Call of Duty history sometimes when you play cage match dude Like this one game last night I was playing against this dude who was sniping with an ACOG M40 like he was a literal like US Marine dude Like I legit thought this dude believed that if he died in the game he was gonna die in real life No I'm not exaggerating either like this most stubborn dude I've ever seen like he would spawn in and we're Wherever he spawned, he would just scope down a hallway and wait. And my dumbass gets really impatient when I play against campers, so I'm just running around the map like a dumbass looking for someone to kill. So I just run right into his scope and he kills me. And this dude's playing the same exact way. I've just been running around and I'm just waiting for him to shoot at me. Like, dude, what? This is what he's doing with this afternoon, bro. It's a 1v1. Sack it up, bro. It's 10 kills to win. Now he's going to relocate and find a new spot to camp until I come find him again. Or he's going to stay up there. 
Oh my god, he's still back there, bro. No, he's on the corner. Dude, I absolutely hate playing people like this because now he knows I'm going to push him and he's just going to be sitting in a different corner waiting to snipe me in the face as soon as I walk by. Bro, it's like it's not even like I'm playing a cage match. It's like I'm playing a 1v1 hide and go seek, bro. Look at this guy. He's, he's backpedaling back to that spawn point to sit there and wait for me. Okay, if I was this guy and I was as terrified as him to play Call of Duty, where would I hide? You guys remember the TV show Fear Factor where they brought a bunch of people and they found out what they were afraid of and they like, like say you were afraid of spiders or something like that. They would see how long you could sit and like a bathtub filled with spiders and like stuff like that just like face your fears and if you did it you ended up winning money and like winning the show and stuff i'm not even joking i'm gonna host a call of duty edition of fear factor just to get these camping pussies to face their fear and run around the map dude like i've literally ran around this map like two times now haven't seen him once not even a single like i haven't seen him Bro, i'm convinced he's hiding in a corner afk i swear to god where is he Hello, dipshit. Look at you. Oh my god, he was up there the whole time. Bro, you know he's crawling. Or look at you. Oh god, damn it. I didn't even kill him. I killed his claymore. Up oh, here we go. I'm gonna climb up the ladder and be dead. You guys ready? He's sitting up here with claymores. That's unbelievable, bro. And I just made him kill himself with his own claymore. <laughs> Dude, that should count as a kill for me, bro, because I stunned the claymore. I think it did, didn't it? Yes, dude. That's what you get for playing like a bitch, man. I hate that so much. It is a 1v1, bro, and you're hiding up in a spawn building with claymores, and you're hiding, dude? Like, what are you afraid of, man? I'm a nice guy. Look at you. Where are you running to? Where are you going? Oh, my God. Did you see him trying to escape death? You're not escaping death, buddy. I think we can all agree that it's going to be virtually impossible to hit a trick shot on this guy just because I'm not going to be able to find him and he's not going to be in the middle of the map for me to stun and trick shot. Honestly, at this point, I kind of want to just give the guy the win just to make him feel better because he's working really hard for this win. I think he deserves it more than me. I'm impatient and I just want to get fast kills. This man wants to win the game and I can respect that a little bit. But at the same time, he's an absolute pussy and I hate him for that. But I mean, you got to you gotta respect it a little bit, you know? You got to respect him playing like an absolute vagina. Look at him in the back of the map. Get them distance nuts. If you spawned over here, buddy. Yes. Okay, I'm at last, guys. Let's see if I can get a single trick shot attempt on this guy. Bro, are you going to come up in my building, please? I think he's going to come up here, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, dude. That would have been the funniest shit ever, man. Here he is. We got him in the middle of the map. Oh, my God. He got me. I got him stunned, though. I got him stunned. I kind of know where he's at. Oh, no. I'm across the map now, dude. Imagine I hit a little headshot on that guy right there. That would have been so rewarding, dude. I think that would have been the most rewarding Call of Duty kill I've had in a really long time. All right, boys. It's 9 to 9. What do you think my odds are of this guy going for trick shots with me? What do you think? You know how sweaty this guy's hands are right now, dude? He's like, oh, my God. I'm going to come back. I'm going to win, dude. The grandma's sitting next to him, like, you can do it, Sonny. You can do it. 30 seconds, dude. He's going to start sweating. He's like, dude, I got to get this win. I don't want to tie. Is that him all the way down there? I have no idea where this guy's at, man. Oh, boy. Come on, just give me the random, random little trick shot on him. Come on. I really don't want this guy to win it, but at the same time, I think he deserves the win. I kind of feel bad for him. He's like the most casual gamer I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, 12 seconds left, dude. Make a move. What are you doing? I think he's settling for a tie. You know what? Tonage 101, you deserve that win. I did not. You did. Look at him. This is a real person, boys. This is a real person in a 1v1. He knows I'm trick shotting. What is he scared of? All right, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, be sure to drop a like on it, guys. It helps me out a ton. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, if you enjoy my videos, you know? But that's about it, boys. I'm going to take off. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And yeah, thank you for watching, boys. Take it easy. Meow.